In previous discussions, we considered the idea of hexadecimal numbers for representation. We also discussed pixels and color. In this lesson, we bring all those concepts together. So the earlier lesson that introduced hexadecimal numbers, we learned that there are 16 different values in a hexadecimal representation, starting with a number zero up through nine, and then beginning with the, the value of 10 in decimal really being um, stored as an A, and the letter F representing the number 15. So as you can see on this slide, we have the three different conversions of hexadecimal, binary, and decimal for the same specific numbers. So practicing he hexadecimals, we can have streams of bits that can be converted into hex by considering each four-bit sequence separately. So if you look at this long sequence here of 16 different binary, uh, bit, uh, binary numbers, you can then break them into four-bit sequences that are a little bit easier to process, at least in terms of converting them to decimal and hex. So if I have these uh, four different groups of numbers and four bits per each group, what I could do is look at the, the far left there, 1101, and if I do the conversion to decimal, that's a 13. So 13 in hex is the letter D. Again, A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, and 13 is D. Now, if I look at that second stream of bits, 1111, that's the highest value, or 15 in decimal. And 15 in decimal is F in hexadecimal. So converting the, the, the third set of four bits, that's just the number five. That's the four bit and the one bit turned on. So the decimal representation of five is the same as the hex set representation. And that last set, the four uh, final values of 0, 0, 1, 1, that's just a number three with the two and one bit turned on. And the decimal value in that case is the same as we would have for the hex value. So there's some interesting places where this might come up. As an example, when I was recently printing out t-shirts for some of the, the students who were attending my summer camps, I went out and tried to find the actual school colors that my university has uh, for its uh, specific um, official school colors on their web pages. So this web page here, the web guide at my university, had our school colors, and it's interesting to note that they specified them in hexadecimal numbers. So you can go to this website and you can see the, def the different definitions of the colors for my school. So UA Crimson is web the web color 990000, and that's in hexadecimal numbers, if you see the, the, um, the pound sign before that. And then we also have different representations of what's called warm gray. So in these representations of colors, each two-letter hex number represents 256 values, or a byte. Or that's just one part of the RGB. So each two-bit or two-letter hex represents either R, G, or B. So if you notice, we have, for example, 990000, where in the crimson color, the red would be the 99, the green would be the 00, and the blue would be the 00. So if I convert 99 from hexadecimal to decimal, that is, it would be 9 times 16 plus 9, I would end up with the number 153. For warm gray, it would be EE, EE, and then EE. So all three double E's. And if you convert that to hexadecimal, you'd find that it's the decimal number of 238 for all three of the red, green, and blue values. As a sample class activity, you might consider the suggestion that's on the course page. This is taken from a website called teachengineering.org where we're converting the RGB values to a hex conversion. And there's various uh, lessons there and also some samples that you can give your students where they're converting the numbers from one to the other in order to represent a color. You could also do what I recently did on the last slide where I went to my university's webpage and found the specific uh, color, formal color of my school. You could ask your students to do the same. They could go to their favorite university or professional team or any kind of organization that has an official style guide for the web and see if they can find the hexadecimal value uh, or color code for that institution. After having that color code, you could then ask them to go to a place like color-hex.com where at the top of the screen they can enter that hex value and then be able to see the actual color represented. So they could play around with that with various colors that they might find on the web or just experiment on their own what specific hex colors would translate to in the real RGB. 
Another thing that you might ask the students to do is then take that hexadecimal, the same hexadecimal number and convert it to decimal. And then after they have the decimal value, as shown in one of the earlier lessons, they could go into Word or PowerPoint and select some text and try to convert that to the true RGB value using the palette that's provided within Office. So these are just some sample activities that you could do with your students to try to help them understand hex and dec decimal conversion.